The thoroughfare leads the processional, swinging the thurible. The thoroughfare waits to the right of the priest and continues to gently swing the thurible. The priest is sometimes flanked by two men at the altar. They are deacons and or laymen acting as masters of ceremonies. The thoroughfare hands the boat and then hands the thurible. If there were no deacon or MC between him and the priest, it would be the job of the thoroughfare to hold the thurible open for the priest. Once the priest blesses the incense, the thurible is closed. The thoroughfare walks off to the side, leaving room for the priest to incense the altar. The priest incenses the cross first, and then proceeds to incense the altar. The thoroughfare waits patiently until the incensation of the altar is completed. When done, the thoroughfare reverently approaches the altar and receives the thurible back. The deacon or master of ceremonies prepares the altar.
when the insensation of the altar is completed, the thoroughfare does not necessarily return to the side of the altar immediately. He may have to wait for the deacon or the master of ceremonies to incense the priest and the others in the sanctuary. The thoroughfare continues to wait while the faithful are being incensed. After the faithful have been incensed, the thoroughfare receives the thoroughbull back. When a deacon or master of ceremonies is to incense the Blessed Sacrament, the thoroughfare follows him to the foot during the Holy, Holy, Holy. All wait until the conclusion of the Holy, 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 and then kneel. Incense should be placed on the lit coals before the epiclesis. If the Roman canon is used, it is best to wait until the epiclesis to place the incense on the lit coals. It should be noted that the duty of incensing the Blessed Sacrament belongs to a deacon or master of ceremonies. 